Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Ala or Dr. Ala and um, uh, this is video recording is a continuation to the previous one. Uh, it is about medicinal mushrooms and specifically uh, cordyceps. So if you haven't watched my previous uh, video recording, please uh, go back to it, find it. It's about, um, it's the overall information about medicinal mushrooms. Mm, but because you, uh, it's possible that you are first time on my um, video recording video, uh, I just want to tell you that I'm a medical doctor. Uh, I uh, have um, practiced as a facial reconstructive surgeon many years ago, uh, but after a number of years in practice, I have developed allergies to uh, some antiseptics used in the surgery, so I was forced to quit my uh, career and um, because I was myself suffering of energies, was looking for ways uh, to help myself and um, uh, none of the conventional medicine was helping me and um, I ended up uh, taking medicinal mushrooms that were suggested to me by uh, um, my uh, friends of my parents. So uh, many years after that, um, medicinal mushrooms have become uh, my business, one of my businesses. It's called Medi Mushrooms. Um, I am personally taking medicinal mushrooms on a daily basis, though on a very small dosages, it's only, um, as I call it, maintenance dosage, one or two capsules a day. Um, but um, I do consult, I do manufacture, I'm heavily and totally involved with the um, entire process of manufacturing uh, medicinal mushroom supplements. I import uh, the uh, superb quality, exclusive quality from uh, mm, Far East. Uh, it's selective uh, suppliers of mine and uh, uh, I bring them to Christchurch to New Zealand. I supervise the manufacturing of these supplements at um, subcontracted uh, factories and then we um, sell them, market and sell. I consult, uh, personally consult the patients and do recommend and suge give suggestions of which one to take, what combination, what dosages. But you're wel welcome to send, go to the website that I'll provide the link to. You can send an email and I do answer all emails within 24 hours. So uh, you're very welcome to contact me whichever way you wish to. Um, I believe somewhere you'll be able to find on one of my blogs, you'll be able to find uh, my um, contact numbers. So please get in touch with me. But in any case, uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, um, one of five Medi mushrooms. So we've got five varieties in our um, uh, clinic. Uh, we've got Cordyceps, Lion's Mane, Maitake, Reishi, and Shiitake. All um, products are of superb quality. As I said, it's exclusive supplies that we've got. We're very lucky. And uh, today I will be talking to you about cordyceps. Now, in order not to, uh, um, I can talk expromptu exp and not look at notes, but I just don't want to, uh, uh, to miss some important uh, little facts. So, uh, if you don't mind, I'll be just glancing on over to my notes from time to time. Um, now, cordyceps, I have to put my glasses on, I'm sorry. Um, cordyceps is uh, one of most valuable uh, medicinal mushroom and uh, it's used in traditional medicine um, and in lots of uh, clinics as well, especially in China and uh, Japan. It's, it's exceptionally well, pro uh, well known product. Mm. Now in China and Japan cordyceps is called winter worm uh, summer grass or a caterpillar uh, mushroom and for a very good reason because it sprouts, this mushroom sprouts out of the body of an uh, um, insect. It doesn't sound appealing, I understand that, but the benefits are absolutely superb. So I, uh, who minds? I don't. It grows, uh, cordyceps grows in uh, um, highlands of Far East um, in a very specific conditions. It grows on the sunny side of uh, uh, mountains in Tibet, Nepal, uh, China and Japan on a very high altitude. Uh, that's the best condition for it. So on the sunny side of the mountains and very high altitudes over 12,000 feet above sea level. Um, so it, it's uh, very hard to get it actually in the natural environment. Uh, 
how did people come across this? It was very interesting. Uh, the Tibetan uh, herdsmen first discovered that their um, sheep or other animals that were grazing the mountainsides were not getting sick at all. In fact, they were getting better and better and feeling good and strong. Um, not dying of any disease if they would have been uh, observed eating uh, some strange looking grass which was cordyceps eventually years later uh, some of the um, uh, natural healers in China started using that uh, that funny grass uh, uh, to treat uh, um, humans and uh, so the popularity started to grow now, because of the difficulty to get the product, to get this uh, mushroom cordyceps, um, uh, it was it, it was only ex it was very expensive, obviously, and it was only affordable by the uh, imperial family. So um, it was. Uh, it was uncommon for just the usual people uh, in, tri in tribes people to use it. They would collect bits and pieces of this grass and uh, make sure that it's sold to imperial family and for very good um, return. Now, uh, um, Cordyceps is well known as uh, a great aphrodisiac, aphrodisiac and um, another name for it was thousands of years ago uh, given with elixir of life and um, I love the name so in my label uh, under the name of Cordyceps I actually have got it uh, elixir of life I don't know if you can see that but I just decided to uh, to keep the name the original name the meaning of it and uh, what else is important interesting is um, um it's talking about how expensive it was, um, it is actually the highest quality of cordyceps um, comes to uh, thousands of around a thousand US dollars for just a uh, hundred grams of cordyceps. But how expensive it is, mm, and um, uh, it is one of the most uh, valuable products. I'm just looking at what else I would be of most interest to you because it's so much about the cordyceps. Uh, the main functions, uh, the main uh, reasons for use of cordyceps in uh, my patients is would be with any cardiovascular disease, uh, respiratory uh, illnesses, um, digestive system disorders, would be urinary system disorders, um, and uh, of course uh, in a big, big time hormone system. Uh, I've got. Uh, um, Few, uh, quite a number of my patients are uh, professional runners or um, professional sports people, and uh, it, it they have reported to me personally how much quicker they recover from their um, extensive exercises and extensive trainings after taking the cordyceps. And, uh, now I believe we should stop here because there's so much more that I want to talk to you about but I just feel that uh, this should be sufficient for just to absorb what was said about uh, cordyceps uh, in general and we'll go further into the depths of uh, the use of cordyceps uh, in the next uh, video recording. Thank you very much and you may uh, go to the website and read much more about it. I just want to, uh, to point out that on the website there is a page called Symptoms Chart. Please pay attention. It gives you 118 symptoms that uh, are there for you to be guided, on how to use and which uh, supplements to use and when. Uh, it has taken me um, about three and a half years to put the chart together and I have started close to 2,000 uh, research work done worldwide to put the chart together. It's, I think it's informative, it's user-friendly, you can print it and study it as much as you want. And I will see you in the next video and we'll talk more about cordyceps. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.